Hey guys, we will solve the lab SSRF via flawed request parsing. The level of this lab is practitioner and the goal is to access the internal admin panel located in this IP range and then delete user Carlos. Okay, let us access the lab. Okay, switch to the bird proxy and open the tab HTTP history. Look for the get request to the web application and send this to the bird repeater. Switch to repeater and modify the host header. For example, change the domain from net to com and send the request. And you see, we received an HTTP 403 forbidden. That means that the uh, application or website validates the uh, host header and blocks any modification of this header. Okay, now we will try to use an absolute URL in the get request line, for example, copy this one and paste it in the get request. The domain of the host header should be the, the different from the original and now we will send the request again to the website. You see we received an HTTP 504 gateway timeout. That means that the application does not validate the host header if we send an absolute URL in the get request line. Now we will use the verb collaborator client to confirm that we make the website's middleware issue request to an arbitrary server. For this, copy to clipboard and paste the address in the host header. We send the request again and switch to the burp collaborator client and push the button poll now. You see we received some DNS types and one HTTP. Okay, now we can close the collaborator client and we send the request with the absolute URL to burp intruder open burp intruder and we switch to the positions tab push the button clear and we change the host header to the IP range 192.168.0.0 and the last zero we add the position okay now switch to the payloads tab and in the section payload sets, uh, change the payload type to numbers. Payload options from 0 to 255 and step 1. And now we start the attack. Okay, the host header in the request does not match the specified target host, we can ignore this message. Okay. We see the, the HTTP 302 status code and we will send this request to burp repeater. 
close the intruder attack and switch to burp repeater. To append at the absolute URL, the admin endpoint, and send it again to the website. You see, we received an 200, an HTTP 200. Okay, that means we have access to the admin panel. Okay, in the response, you see the form for deleting users. The method is post and the path is admin delete. We will add the delete to the URL and question mark. We also need the CSRF token, copy and CSRF and now we need the username. You see it's a required input field, a username, Carlos, and we also need the session cookie copy and put this to the cookie header in our request. Now we send the request to the application and you see we solved the lab.